Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today. Today's video is going to be the start of my 2013 DVD Blu-ray collection overview. Obviously this is going to be done in multiple parts because I have a lot of stuff and um, yeah, so basically how I'm going to do it is I'm going to show you the TV collection first and then I'll go DVDs, Doctor Who, then Blu-ray. Um, the other two probably won't be till towards the end of the month because I'm going to wait until um, I do a my end of the month uh, DVD Blu-ray update because um, I have gotten another, like I've got the monthly Doctor Who release and then I've got a stack of Blu-rays to show you so I'll wait until those are actually in the collection first and then I'll do it that way so um these are probably going to be spread out over the next four weeks so um yeah and I'm just going to get straight into it because this video is probably going to be a long one so scan up right here um I've got some complete series box sets so we have friends the complete series um yeah it is I don't know what really what else I can say about friends that hasn't already been said um I really do enjoy the show um, it took me forever to finish the box set, but, um, yeah, I'm glad I finally actually watch it, and, yeah, it's a great series. Um, I'm content with just having the DVD box set, because I know they've released it in Blu-ray, and I'm like, I don't love it enough to upgrade to my, like, to upgrade it to Blu-ray, because, to be honest, I don't know how many times I'm actually going to re-watch the show, so, um, I mean, I like to catch it on TV, time and time and watch the reruns but um yeah it'll be a while before I actually re-watch the show so but I do love it it's yeah one of my favorite comedies so there we go that's Friends the complete series box set and then up there I have Transformers the complete collection I've only seen se season one of that um I think I've been put off because season two is quite long and and I want to watch season two before I watch the Transformers movie, which I've got. And um, so I really need to get around to watching season two, but I enjoyed the hell out of season one. So, I mean, I was never into Transformers when I was a kid, but watching the movies sort of made me want to go back and check out the show. And it's actually pretty good, um, you know, for what it is. So that's uh, Transformers, the complete collection. And then, of course, we've got Red Dwarf. I love Red Dwarf. Um... Yeah, again, one of my favourite comedies, and, um, yeah, it's just amazing. I love, especially, I mostly love the first six series, because after they introduced, um, Christine, what's the name, it kind of went downhill. I wasn't a big fan of series eight. Uh, Red Dwarf Back to Earth wasn't that great, to, to be honest, either, but I did like series ten, actually. Um, I've got that in, on Blu-ray, so you won't see it in this update, but... Yeah, so that is Red Dwarf, the anniversary edition, or the shows. And then just quickly, I've placed my Man From Uncle complete series here because normally it's down on the shelf near my NCIS DVDs because, um, yeah, it's got David McCullum in it and I love David McCullum on NCIS and I wanted to see um, other stuff that he's done because Ducky's one of my favourite characters. Um, probably my second favourite character on NCIS next to Ziva. And um, I've been wanting to check out Man From U.N.C.L.E. since I saw the A-Team, like, sort of crossover episode that they did. Because um, one of the actors from this show um, was in the A-Team the final, in the final season, but I'm blinking on his name. But, yeah, I can't wait to start getting into that series. So that's the Man From U.N.C.L.E. complete series. And here we've got the main TV shelf. Um, I'm going to have to take some of, because I've, starting to double it's starting to um double up because I've got stuff behind but it'll because I sort of go down alphabetically and then the stuff at the bottom goes behind yeah it's a bit awkward but um it works for me so I'll just start showing these and then I'll put when I get up to that those DVDs I'll just show those ones so first up we have two broke girls season one um have not watched this yet um I mainly got this for Kat Dennings because I loved her in Thor, so yeah. <laughs> and then I've got 30 Rock Season 1, have not watched this, um, even though I love Tina Fey, so 
um, I should actually really get around to watching this show because um, I think it just ended. Um, well, season six is the last season, which I think is currently on. So, yeah, and I I loved. Um, I just dropped the DVD. Um, I thought, yeah, Tina Fey and Amy. I can't pronounce her name because I keep putting it to set, get it like. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Fowler or if I'm mixing that up with the Big Ben Theory, but, um, yeah, so I haven't watched this, but I, yeah, really need to get around to it, so, Dirty Rock Season 1, and then we've got my 18 DVDs, um, we've got Seasons 1 through 5, I love this show, um, I discovered it through the movie, as I've said before, which I really loved, and, yeah, <laughs> I'm probably in the minority with that one, but, yeah, so we've got the 18, um, cheesy 80s goodness which yeah I love so that's just season one um season two season three season four um Murdoch's probably my favorite show my uh, character in the show so um yeah <laughs> So, this randomly and season five. And then we've got The Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers as volumes. Oh, trying to keep them from falling. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, seasons one. Uh, volume 1 and 2, it only lasted one season, but it's an awesome 80s cartoon, and, um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's just awesome, and you should check it out, so, <laughs> go Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers, The Adventures of Tintin, um, I have not watched this, I got this because of the movie, which I really enjoyed, so I wanted to check out the TV show, so, yeah, and then we've got all three seasons of Arrested Development, just an awesome show. Um, I've heard they've, they're they close to bringing out a fourth season. Um, I think it's through net through Netflix, but um, I don't get Netflix, so um, I don't know how I'm going to catch up on that one, but I'm sure I'll find a way. So, but yeah, Arrested Development is just a great. Uh, so I'm glad I actually um, checked it out because I pretty much ploughed through these three seasons in less than a week. So, <laughs> um, yes, rest of development. And then I've got As Time Goes By, the complete series one to four. And what is there? And uh, series five to nine. I got this because of Judy Dench because. I've been eyeing these sets for ages. I think they've been in my Amazon UK wish list for about nearly, I think, three years or something. And um, yeah, seeing when I saw Skyfall, it just basically made me want to go and um, yeah, just order them, and so I can have them in my collection. So, and I've also got the reunion specials. Uh, the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes Season 1 still book, um, for obvious reasons. Um, I, after my massive Avengers high from seeing the movie, um, I pretty much devoured, wanted to devour everything to do with the Avengers, and this caught my eye, and um, for what it was, it was actually pretty, um, pretty decent, so I think they made one more season after this one, because I think they... Uh, cancelled this one and they did another show um, so yeah but I actually enjoyed it so uh, it's Mightiest Terry season one and then got back to you um, it was a yeah, pretty decent comedy with um, Patricia Heaton and Kelsey Grammer and it was kind of a shame it only lasted the one season but I enjoyed it so um yeah, it's back to you. And then Bangkok Hilton, uh, one of Nicole Kidman's earlier roles. Um, I think it was actually the last thing she made before she moved over 
to the States. Um, I haven't seen it. Um, I've heard it's supposed to be pretty good. I mean, I've seen clips, but I haven't seen the whole thing yet. So, yeah, Bangkok Hilton and uh, Band of Brothers, which I watched, I think I watched, um, it was a couple of years ago, and I really liked it, and I need to get the Pacific, so, Band of Brothers. Okay. And continuing on, and finally, those, so, Battlestar Galactica, the original uh, 1978 series, and then we've got the remastered version with the miniseries, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4.0, and Season 4 Part 2, and Razor. Oh, actually, no, that's the plan, sorry. Razors in the season four set. I don't know if I said that first. Um, I love Battlestar Galactica. Um, I actually, it's kind of funny because I initially started with watching because I think I saw a couple of episodes of the original series and then I lost track and then I started watching. I actually started watching the. Uh, remake, or, yeah, remastered remake, um, probably about when it was almost, like, just before the season four part two DVD was coming out, so, and then I, yeah, pretty much went through it and, yeah, just loved it, so, um, I like the original, but, yeah, it's, um, and it also has the guy who was face in the A-Team who, I can't think of his name, the actor, but, um, yeah, so, um, but yeah, I just love, yeah, Battlestar, um, I haven't actually seen anything, like, I didn't, never saw, um, Caprica or any of the newer stuff that's come out, I actually really need to get on top of that, but, yeah, that's Battlestar Galactica, both the original and the reimagined series, Becca season one, um, I just got it because it was five dollars. Um, I stopped watching after season three when um, oh, I'm blanking on a name now. Um, the girl who played uh, Jadzia on Deep Space Nine. I watched it because of her, and um, when she left, I yeah stopped watching. Um, I think only the th th three seasons are out, but it, unless I can find them for five dollars again, I probably won't be uh, adding them to the collection anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed Becca when it was on, especially like, you know, when it started, it was pretty, yeah, it's funny, so, I haven't actually watched the DVD since I got it, so, uh, yeah, but that's Becca season one, then we have Big Bad, Big Bad Beetleborgs, uh, season one, volume one, childhood, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, in the similar vein to, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, um, but yeah, I just love this, and Season 1, Volume 2 is coming out next month, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, I actually don't remember much of this, because it's been years since I've seen it. Um, I never watched it. I think I watched um, um, Beta Books Metallic, the movie, when they first upgraded the powers, but because I have that on VHS, but yeah, I never watched it beyond that, so... But yeah, I'm looking forward to actually revisiting this show, so. Then we have a recent um, obsession, The Big Ben Theory, seasons one through four. I've got season five on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I've, last six months I've discovered this show and I love it. It's awesome. Um, yeah, I actually have, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll just turn it around. I have my soft kitty shirt on, so I don't know if that's picking up on camera or not, so, but yeah, it's an awesome shirt, and um, yeah, I just love this show, and yeah. <laughs> then we have Blackpool, I got this because of David Tennant, um, I was actually pretty lucky, and I was able to get the Australian release of this, I I know in the UK you can only get it with Viva Blackpool, I think, at this, or at this point, but... Yeah, I was able to get the single version. I think I paid, it was pretty pricey, but um, I think it was like almost $20 that I spent on this, but I don't really care. It's David Tennant, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Then we have Bones, seasons one through four. Um, yeah, as I mentioned in one of my other updates, I got seasons three and four because they were like eight bucks on Black Friday, and I 
could not turn that down, even though I've only watched season one, so, but yeah, so I need to start watch, get back on track with that, because I actually did like season one, because um, I think I planned through that in like a day and a half, like, you know, two days or something crazy like that, so, uh, Broadway, the American musical, um, really good documentary about Broadway, because as you know, I love musical theatre, and yeah, and it's also, uh, narrated by Julie Andrews, which is pretty awesome, so, then we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer seasons one through seven, and Angel seasons one through five, where am I, um, I love both shows, um, I think they're pretty much tied in terms of where I rank them. I think I've said I prefer Angel over Buffy, but to be honest, they're both great shows and I really, really want to rewatch it, but I've got way too many stuff that I have stuff to watch that I have not yet gotten around to, so yeah, the rewatches will probably have to wait and but yeah, it's um on high up on the to do list. So, um yeah. It's Buffy and Angel. Captain Planet season one, um, <laughs> childhood, um, yeah, I showed that was, like, before its time, really, because we were talking about, yes, you know, saving the planet and global warming and all of that, like, about two decades before it's starting to become really prominent now, um, so, yeah, I have not watched that, DV the DVD yet, but, yeah, Captain Planet was childhood, um, so, yeah. Uh, Casanova, the David Tennant version, um, yeah. Then we've got Castle, seasons one through four. Um, I'm really loving Castle at the moment. Um, I am watching season five as it comes on, even though I'm, like, two episodes behind, but I really do enjoy the show. I love Nathan Fillion, and, um, yeah, I'm, I like it, so. And then we've got the Catherine Tate show, series one, two, three... Comic Relief and Nen's Christmas Carol. I finally watched Nen's Christmas Carol last Christmas. Um, I think I was, I was like two Christmas, I was meant to watch it two Christmases ago, but by the time I got round to it, I completely forgot. So, um, yeah, but it's actually pretty funny. Um, I did like it, and David Tennant's one of the ghosts as well, so that was a bonus because he's in this, um, in the Comic Relief special as well. Um, because he plays Lauren's English teacher, and that clip is just hilarious. So, um, yeah, and we've then we've got Charmed seasons one through six, and then seven and eight. Um, yeah, I don't like season eight. I think the only good thing about season eight is the finale, and um, yeah, which is kind of a shame because I actually did, yeah, the first four seasons of Charmed are really good, and then. Uh, season five has its moments, but um, I mean, I didn't like what they did to Balthazar's character. Balthazar was that his name? Cole. Yeah, I didn't like what they did to his character, and yeah. So, um, but I think I'm like with a lot of charmed fans on that. Um, yeah, the show did like it went downhill, and that that sad thing is like um, well, not really sad. I hated Kaylee um, Cuckoo's cat. Uh, Cuckoo. I don't know how to pronounce her name, the one who's in the Big Ben Theory. I hated her character in Charmed, like, she was my, you know, probably the least favourite thing about why Season 8 was so bad, or part of the reason, and then, but I actually like her in the Big Ben Theory, it's, yeah, because that's why I was actually pretty against starting the Big Ben Theory, because I just hated her character in Charmed, but I, I prefer Penny in Big Ben Theory to the character she played. And I can't even remember what the character's name was in Charmed. I think I've just blocked it <laughs> from memory. So, uh, Community, let's stop ranting about that. Uh, community seasons one, two, and three are uh, still behind on Community. Um, I started watching season two, but got sidetracked. So I need to finish that. Um, then we've got Cougar Town season one and Country Practice series one. Uh, this is an Aust Australian show that was, like, in the 80s. Um, I just picked it up randomly. I was curious to check it out. Uh, Criminal Mind seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 and 5. I forgot I had season 5 there. Um, I have not watched... I've only watched the pilot of this show. Um, I really want to get into it, but, yeah. So many things to watch. Uh, Dark Angel season 1 and... Where am I? Dark Angel season 2. 
Um, basically, I got this because of Michael Weatherly, who I, who plays Tony on NCIS. Um, I have not seen this show yet, so I mean, I know it also has. Um, it, yeah, like obviously it stars Jessica Alba, and it also has. Oh, what's the one who plays Dean on Super? Is it Dean? Is that him on Supernatural? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it's Dean. Um, Jensen Ackles, I think that's his name. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really horrible with names at the moment. Uh, Dead Like Me, Seasons 1, 2, and Life After Death, have not watched that. Uh, Dexter, Seasons 1 to 4, I still need to watch Season 4. And um, I think part of it, the reason I haven't got to Season 4 yet, was because Season 3, I didn't really care for at all. Um, even though I've heard Season 4 is supposed to be the best one. So I'll have to get on board with that. Um, so I have yeah, I haven't even picked up Season 5 or 6, so... <laughs> Um, it's not high on my list of, sh like, high up on my list of shows to catch up on right now, so. Uh, Dr. Horrible Cinnamon Blog. Awesome. Cut. Don't need to say much else about that. Uh, Dressed in Files, a complete series. Um, because the guy who was in this is actually in Arrow right now. Um, he plays Laurel's, uh, dad. Um, because that's what the sort of, when I started watching Arrow, which I actually really enjoy, I was like, oh, that's the guy who was in, who was Harry Dresden in the Dresden Files. So, um, so I actually watched this when it was uh, shown on TV, um, or it was reruns or whatever. But I did like it, so um, I need to rewatch that. So, um, yeah, uh, Farscape seasons one through four. I've only seen a couple of episodes. Um, yeah, another show I need to watch. Uh, Faulty Towers, the complete series, Firefly. Friday Night Light seasons one through three, and then we've got Fringe seasons one and two. I've got three and four on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, really great show, Fringe. Um, I've sort of fallen behind on season five, so I'm just going to wait for the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, it sort of was one of the shows that I was tr I was trying to keep up with so many shows this uh, TV season, and I failed miserably. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I do want to finish up. Like I'm to still get season 5 so I can finish it off so uh, Gilmore Girls seasons 1 through 7 Glee season 1 volume 1 and season 1 volume 2 I've got season 2 on Blu-ray which I haven't watched yet um, I like season 1 I just yeah sort of um, not so much lost interest but it's a, yeah another show I've uh, sort of fallen behind on and I mean I enjoy, like enjoyed it but yeah it's um yeah, just falling behind and need to catch, well, need to catch up. So, and then we've got Hardware, which is a British, uh, the Hardware the Complete series, a British show with Martin Freeman in it, um, who I'm sort of obsessed with. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm pretty much picking, getting everything that he's been in. So, um, and then we've got Hawaii Five O season one, the original series, and then we've got the remake season one and season two. Again, I was watching season three, and yeah, I've got a. I've just stopped watching, um, even though I really do enjoy Hawaii, and so I'll just have to get the DVD for that. But I did like, I do like the show. Where it's just yeah, too many things to watch. Uh, Hawk, which is an Australian mini series about uh, the prime. Uh, Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Bob Hawke, because um, I think if I remember correctly, it was basically about um, is um, like how he actually looked, because um, Paul Keating basically took over as Prime Minister, and um, yeah, it's all complicated as Australian politics is, but um, I've heard this is supposed to be pretty good, so um. Yeah, and then we've got Hercules, The Legendary Journey, Season 1, 2, 3, and 4. Have not watched any of this yet. Um, I'll probably try and pick up 5 and 6 before I start watching. And then we have Xena, Season 1. Um, again, have not w watched it. Uh, Hero, Season 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, have not watched Season 4. Um, I'm probably going to re-watch uh, one, to, 1 to 3, then go into 4, because... It's been ages since I've watched season three, so I don't really remember anything about it. Um, 
And I've sort of just sort of been putting it off, but I do want. I think I do actually want to finish it. I may might have said in one of my earlier video, earlier collection overviews that I was probably never going to actually um, catch up with the show, but eh, see what happens. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, as much as I love Martin Freeman, and I do enjoy his like the movie adaptation version, this is the superior version. If you want to check out and um like a version of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the 1981 BBC miniseries is the way to go. <laughs> uh, then we have Homeland Season 1, a really awesome show. Um, I was watching Season 2 up until Episode 10, and so yeah, I need to catch up on that. House Season 1 and 2, seen Season 1, really enjoyed it, and so I got Season 2 to go so I can continue with it. And then I've got How I Met Your Mother, sorry about the glare. It's seasons one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, I I stopped watching after s I have to watch season five because I'm way behind on how I met your mother. So, as I am with a lot of things, and then here we go. Eyes. Um, got Iron Man: Armored Adventures Volume One, Invader Zoom Season One, Jag Season One. Um, and then we sort of get into one of my most prized uh, parts of my collection because I love the show. Um, it's my NCIS DVD, so we've got all nine seasons of the show, and um, I'm watching season ten. It's one of the few shows I actually managed to keep up with, but yeah, I just love this show, and I will honestly be devastated um, when the show comes to an end because if it, I could keep it going forever, I would. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then we've got seasons one to three of Antonis Los Angeles. Um, Los Angeles is growing on me. I didn't love it to begin with. Like, I only really watch for um, Hetty because she's my favourite character. But now I'm sort of watching for Kenzie and Deeks because they're basically my Tony and Ziva of the sh uh, Los Angeles. So I'm still going to keep with it. So uh, Jonathan Creek, series one to four. I've only seen series one. Kim Possible, A Stitch in Time, The Last Detective, Series 1 to 4, a show with Peter Davison, um, who was the fifth Doctor. I've only seen Series 1. Then we move into my Law and Order DVDs. Um, we've got the original Law and Order up to Season 8. I've only watched up to Season 3, or the third year, as it's called, um, for the first five. Um, um, yeah, I think I've... Oh, I'm just sort of realising that one of them's actually gone... Yeah, well, I have season six as well, but it, for some reason it was over in my other thing, so I'll just try and put... Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, I know I had season six, but anyway, I've got one to eight of the original... Law and Order, then I've got up to season 10 of SVU, and I have one in seasons 1 and 2 of, because season 2 is up there, of Criminal Intent, um, basically because I got to be bothered to move all my DVDs around, and I just shoved it up there, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, I, I like watching Law and Order, I'm just really behind on it, so, um, I mean, I know, like, the original show is finished now, and but I was watching it because of um, Jerry Orbach's, uh when he was actually on the show, because I love his uh, Lenny Briscoe, so, yeah, that's sort of the main reason I started watching Law and Order, but, um, yeah. So, I mean, like, for the original, up until uh, a few years ago, I'd only ever really watched SVU, and that was only on random occasions because episodes are just depressing because um, of the like you know, you know the subject matter and and that. But I do actually yeah want to keep up with like finish watching Law and Order and and then progress through the DVDs set, uh, season sets that I have. So yep, then I've got Legend of the Seeker season one and two, Leverage season one. Life on Mars, Series 1 and 2, the British version. I don't really have any interest in seeing the American remake. 
Merlin series one through four. Again, um, I was watching series five, which sadly is the last season. But um, yeah, up until about season episode ten, I kind of stopped. Um, so I just fell behind, and yeah, it's, I've got I've pre like ordered the I've got the Blu-ray on pre-order, so. Um, like, I've watched, like, you know, the magic reveal and that, because that was what I was heading down to watch, and it was only, like, a two-minute clip, and it just made me cry, but, um, yeah, I love this show. It's, yes, it's cheesy and, you know, a bit stupid, but I still like it. Then we move into my Power Ranger DVDs. We've got the Best of the Power Rangers, which is, like, I think these were f uh, voted as the favourites, um... Because you got like, I think you got, oh, it's like um, when Tommy became the White Ranger and then there's a couple, uh, I think Lost Galaxies uh, to the 10th power when it was the Rangers, in, like Astro Rangers, Lost Galaxy Rangers. And then I think Lightspeed Rescue and Lost Galaxy team up and Forever, Forever Red, I think that they're the episodes on there. And then we have the first uh, volume of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1. I got the, I got this edition before I realised the complete series was coming out. And see it there next to my pink and green ranger figures. Um, yeah, basically, Power Rangers is my childhood. And I was so happy when this was um, announced as my, like, was coming out. Um... So I never thought I'd see the day, but yes, I've got the complete series and I can't wait to revisit like the entire, you know, I've watched the first disc of season one, volume one. It's just like a total throwback to the ni early 90s when the show <laughs> started. So, but yeah, I love it. <laughs> um, then we've got Ninja Storm, the complete series, Dino Thunder, the complete series, which is probably my favourite of the Disney ones because oh, I just knocked my bring bigger over um because Tommy came back so that's pretty cool and then we sort of have individual volumes of SPD um joining forces strike out wired boom and zapped um then we've got mystic force broken spell uh legendary catastrophe and fireheart and dark wish the movie Operation Overdrive, the complete series, and then the complete series of Dino Thunder, uh, not Dino Thunder, Jungle Fury. With Into the Jungle, Way of the Master, True Friends, True Spirit, Path of the Rhino, and the Final Fury. Modern Family Season 1, Moonlight, The Muppet Show Seasons 1, 2, and 3. I'm hoping now that Disney's acquired Lucasfilm that we'll finally get uh, Season 4 and 5 of The Muppet Show, because Season 4 has Star Wars. Uh, episode which is one of my favorites so they don't have an excuse an excuse anymore not to release it so uh, my so-called life the complete series okay down here we've got Nash Bridges the first season number season one the office the uh, BBC series the British version offspring season one pack to the rafters season one parenthood season one Pokemon Indigo uh, yeah, Indigo League Season 1, Pretty Little Lies Season 1, Pride and Prejudice, the BBC miniseries, Prime Evil Series 1 to 3, Peewee Blues, Reba Seasons 1 through 6, Red Dwarf Back to Earth, Rizzoli and, and Isle Seasons 1 and 2, Sanctuary Seasons 1 and 2, Scrub Seasons 1 through 8, Sherlock Holmes, the complete uh, series with Jeremy Brett, an awesome, awesome series. Um, he's one, yeah, probably one of, um, and that's sort of hard to choose because I love Benedict Cumberbatch, but I also love Jeremy Brett's version of Sherlock, so. Then we've got the Sitting Detective miniseries, Spaced, Space Academy, Jason of Star Command, Stargate SG-1, Season 1, Star Trek the Original Series, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, the animated series, all seven seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation, I don't have any more, like, more, like, D Space Nine or Voyager because I'm waiting for the Blu-rays to come out because I've actually, um, because I'm going to get Enterprise Season 1 on Blu-ray when that comes out and, um, because I wanted to, like, you know, eventually get them to, like, you know, buy to support 
the Blu-ray like releases um, so that you know we'll actually see Deep Space Nine and Voyager because um, they're like my two favorite uh, seasons. But um, yeah, I will eventually get the complete show, so like series, because um, yeah. And then we've got Star Trek Fan Collective Klingon, State of Play, the British miniseries, Summer Heights High, Supernatural Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4, just around the wrong way, uh, Supernatural Season 5's there because I'm watching it, Season 6 of Supernatural, I've got Season 7 on Blu-ray, Taking Over the Asylum, Team Wolf Season 1, Thank God You're Here Series 1 through 4, Tin Man, True Calling, True Blood Seasons 1 and 2, The Tudor Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4, The Vampire Diaries, again I've mixed it up here, um, just give me a moment, 1 to 3, Veronica Mars Seasons 1 to 3, Warehouse 13 Seasons 1 and 2, The West Wind Seasons 1 through 7, and X-Men Evolution, Seasons 1, Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we've got... Where are we? Mutants Rising, Powers Revealed, Enemies Unveiled, Mystique's Revenge, and the complete third season, Season 4. Uh, the final season's actually not out on DVD, as far as I'm aware. So, oh, that took a lot more to go through than I thought. Um, but yeah, so that is the complete overview of my TV collection. Um, I'm going to, as I think I said at the start, I'm going to show my DVDs next, so that'll probably be next week or in a few days to next week, depending on when I get around to doing it. But um, thank you guys for watching and until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye!